Soil Extraction In traditional brick making, the process begins with excavating the suitable soil in a specific location. Then the soil is filtered, making it free of gravel, coarse sand, organic matter, pebbles and roots, which is then transferred to the factory and gathered into a heap. Clay Preparation The mixed soil is made wet overnight, which will smoothen the soil and makes it easier for mixing and to get the required consistency for molding. Soil is thoroughly mixed to break down into clay. The mixed soil is added to a cart and transported to the molding site where the bricks are made. Water is vital in clay making for imparting plasticity, binding particles and ensuring uniform composition. It enhances workability and moisture content, crucial for successful drying and firing process. Moulding of Bricks Once the clay dough is prepared, the moulding of bricks takes place. Here is a rectangular iron mould used to get the required size and shape. Approximately 3 to 4 kg of clay is used to make a single brick and about 1000 bricks are moulded by a single labour in a day. Then the bricks are allowed to dry for several days. Drying of Bricks The bricks are dried naturally for about several days to few weeks based on the weather conditions. There should be no moisture in the bricks before it is taken to a furnace as it will lead to cracks and makes it less durable. After drying, around 25 to 30,000 bricks are arranged together in clay and it will be sealed completely with clay. Burning of Bricks After the bricks are completely dried, it is loaded to the clay and are burnt using a fuel. Here is the clay where the bricks are loaded. This is the door of clay. After loading the bricks completely into the clay, the door is tightly sealed with the clay. This prevents heat from escaping, ensuring proper insulation. Indicator brick is placed in the bottom of the clay during firing to help assess the level of burning and heat distribution. This technique is often used to determine if the bricks have been properly fired or if there are areas in the clay where the temperature may have not been sufficient. Any free box or branches can be used as fuel for burning bricks. The furnace consists of openings which acts as a tube to transfer the heat to the bricks that are placed inside. These openings are combined to a single tunnel underground which is further connected to the chimney which will transfer the smoke into the atmosphere.
the heat generator will slowly spread from top to bottom, which will turn the bricks completely to crimson red. It is crucial to spread the tree barks using a wooden log to ensure proper burning. This is a non-stop process of nearly 30 hours of burning to a temperature of 900 to 1200 degrees celsius which will consume nearly 2 tons of wood. It is important to keep the clean burning even during the night. Once the burning has stopped, the temperature drops immediately. If it starts again, the bricks that are placed on the outer surface will get overburned and will make the burning uneven. This will also consume more fuel and time to get back to the previous temperature which makes it unnecessary. Once the burning is completed, the left out ash is pulled out of the openings and is cooled down using water to drop the temperature. Then, this is collected in a cart and is transferred to a reference site as there is no further use of it. Cooling After the completion of firing process, the clean temperature is gradually reduced to allow for natural cooling of the bricks. This initial cooling phase helps in minimizing the risk of thermal stresses that can lead to cracking. Here we can see the bricks are completely burnt as it is turned into crimson red. Proper cooling is essential to produce high quality bricks with the desired properties. Delivery The goal is to achieve uniform cooling to ensure that the bricks met the required standards for strength and durability. Post cooling, the bricks are carefully loaded to the truck and delivered to the customers as per orders.